Hi, I'm Shelly, and I've been working on renovating my 2001 Thor Tahoe California Light Camper. It's 22 feet long, 3,000 pounds, and a ton of work. But I'm actually getting pretty close to being done, and I've been working a lot on the back bed lately. Um, my camper has a full-size bed in the back area next to the bathroom and there's a twin bunk right above it. So that's the area that I've been working on a lot lately. So today I'm going to be showing you everything I've done so far and then I will also put a few things back together, get the mattress back on the bed, make the bed, and if I have time maybe even start to decorate a little bit and take a few photos of what it looks like when it's all done. And just a side note, I know that the way I'm decorating some of this doesn't look terribly practical. Um, a couple of the items aren't secured and there are a few too many throw pillows you might say. Um, and part of the reason for that is that I'm planning to put up my camper for rent on a website called Outdoorsy and I'm basically taking staging staged photos for the listing on that website. So there will probably be, you know, a couple you know, fewer decorative items when somebody actually uses the camper and when we actually use the camper, but most of the things I'm going to be putting in are things that you don't have to move before you take it camping. Anyway, I just wanted to explain why there's a couple extra things that you don't really need in a camper. It's just to make it more fun and to look good in the pictures. talked about in my two-thirds update video how I had um, painted everything white that was kind of step one and replaced the carpet trim or not carpet I guess it was more of like a white vinyl like kind of like an 80s couch <laughs> I'm thinking like weekend at Bernie's interior design um, <laughs> Anyway, I replaced this uh, vinyl trim piece with um, some regular white painted wood trim. I recently added some wallpaper onto one wall. And I've been working in there some more lately, ever since I finished the dinette and couch. And look what I did! I decided to take a break painting the exterior and paint something inside since what, this is one of the last few 50 degree days uh, and I wanted to get some extra painting done so look what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm painting one of those trendy big bright colored circles on the wall of the, uh, the bunk area. Here's how I did it. I saw that this is how everybody does it, so I just copied them. I figured if it works for them, it works for me. So I measured how big I wanted the, um, I guess, uh, radius of the circle to be, and I put this in the very middle, right over against the wall right here, and, um, and then I attached a pencil to a piece of string, and I made a big circle like this going all the way around. See how that works? Very easy. Um, and then now I'm just uh, painting it. So let's do this. This is fun. So I love that. That is exactly what I want and I'm really happy with it. It's the current state of things. Mattress, painting stuff, all the bedding. I think I'm ready to start putting the bed back together again, finally.
forgot that first I have to take off all the tape from painting. Ideally, you don't want to let paint dry on painter's tape, but I had no choice because I was actually painting the ceiling white, which I was too lazy to do before. I just finished doing that um, two days ago. Um, so when you're doing multiple coats, I don't know of a way of avoiding um, leaving paint to dry on painter's tape. Here we go. Let's hope that it worked out okay. When I was painting the ceiling, I decided to just unscrew the light fixture so I wouldn't have to worry about taping it up and making sure to be really careful around the end of the edges of it, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that back on now. I'm not putting a light bulb in yet because this is the one light in the whole camper that doesn't work for some reason. I think it's a problem with the switch here, so I'm going to ask my dad about that, and in the meantime there's no point in putting a light bulb in. I also have these decorative items. I'm not totally sure what I feel like doing with them yet. I was thinking this might be kind of handy for putting books into when you're reading, but I also don't want to take away from any of the space. Maybe up here, there's a bit of a blank spot. That looks pretty plain. The whole top bunk is a little bit too white. Maybe something needs to go up here in this corner. This might be cool, especially if I could put some art up or paint something on it. This thermostat is now officially the least cute thing in the entire camper, and it would be fun to either jazz it up or cover it up in some way. I suppose it needs to have access to the air for it to work properly, so I guess I can't cover it up, but I have a couple ideas. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Maybe cutting, putting this up and cutting a hole in the middle so it's like a, it's like a frame around it. Or, or I could put up something like this. That might look better if it was the right shape. Okay, I think I've identified the problem with the top bunk and how it looks really blank and weird. I think that the sheet should not be white, so I'm going to try changing that. Oh my goodness, I think that is so much better. <laughs> I don't know why that makes such a big difference to me, but it does. But I still need, think we need something right here in that corner. After a very successful thrifting trip, I think I have the items that I needed. In this spot, I realized that I had totally forgotten about my hexagon mirror, so I'm, I'm thinking that'll look pretty good there. And I have this corner shelf that I did have up in the um, living area above the couch, but I decided to take that down actually, and you'll see why in a later video. I also got this guy to use as kind of a wall storage basket so you can put your phone or a book or a water bottle in there while you're asleep. Now I have half a mind to make this thrift store basket into some kind of 
twinkly light. It's battery. These twinkly lights are battery operated. I just got them from in my house. I just thought it would be nice and cozy to have a little light up in the corner there. Let's see how it looks. One last thing to figure out is what I want to do for a curtain up here. There was a uh, metal uh, piece that ran along the ceiling here, but I really didn't like the way that looked. And it didn't work with any other curtains. You had to get an RV specific curtain and I didn't want to do that. So um, I took that out, I puttied up the holes and repainted it. And now I need to pick which curtain to put up. I got two of these curtain rods at the hardware store. Oh, random tip, if you're gonna buy these curtain ring uh, things with the clips on the bottom so that you can make a curtain out of a blanket or anything else that you want. Don't buy them at like Target or something because they're like $10 and just buy them at a hardware store because I think they were three or four dollars. So here's the first curtain option. That way when people are sleeping in the back they can get some privacy and not um, be woken up by people wiggling around over here as it falls down. Here's the other option. This one is a really beautiful vintage woven blanket that's a nice neutral color. Um, this one, one of the downsides might be that is the thermostat is in the bed area so the heater would probably just keep going and it would get really hot over here and really cold in here. So this one might not be a great option, but I really, I really like the way it looks. So I think I'm all done. I'm so excited and I love the way it turned out. into this kind of modern mixed with mid-century and a lot of white, a little bit of black and pops of yellow and beige. <laughs> pops of beige sounds kind of ridiculous, but whatever. That's what I'm into right now. Um, so I really love the way this turned out and thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to be putting the finishing touches on the bathroom next, so I'll show that whole process hopefully in my next video anyway thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye